Aries, welcome to your birthday reading and happy birthday to you. Yesterday was the 20th. The sun went in Aries. It was a beautiful day. Sun was out, but it's raining now. So I hope you all enjoy that in the background. If y'all can hear the rain falling, I hope you enjoy it. But um, yes, we are working with the Sacred Traveler Oracle cards today as I do every month when I do the special birthday reading for whoever's having their birthday. <laughs> So you're next, okay? And what we're gonna do is uh, pull some cards to get an idea of what the next solar year has in store for you, what the advice is, and what's some divine guidance for Aries to find out, you know, a little insight over the next 12 months for you, the next birth year, okay? For Aries, please show me spirit. Let's see what comes out. Ah, what is going on? These cards are not very forthcoming. And that's not like you, Aries. Y'all are forthcoming. Y'all are direct. Y'all are direct. I was just working yesterday when the sun went in Aries and this little baby squirrel came up in my window seal. Uh, there we are. You're at an impasse. Let's see what else comes out. Um, little baby squirrel came in my window seal and I was like, yeah. Aries season coming out of hibernation. Oh, voyage of the heart. Love flows through you and to you. Redirect your energy. Love flows through you and to you. Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? I'm, I'm hearing deliberation, okay? Deliberation. And that's why you're. I'm hearing crossroads, okay? You're deliberating this way or that way. This is what I'm getting intuitively. All right. I'm going to do something special for y'all that I don't normally do. Um... Please show me spirit. If they go, if they, if they pick option A, what's going to happen with option A? Option A, what's going to happen with option Oh, you're getting a lot of cards here. Fogged in, ascending the mountain. What's going to happen if they do option B? Mystic healer. And that's at the foundation, choosing your path. So, um, interesting spread, okay? I'm going to go deeper into this, and I'm going to give you a lot more messages. But before we get to that, I need you to hang on and listen to this quick message that I have for you. It's maybe a minute and a half long. Come on, y'all can do it, Aries. Y'all can wait. And then I'll tell you the special messages for this, if you just hold on. Did you know that your birthday is a great time to treat yourself to a solar report? What's a solar report? Some of you are asking. Well, it's a year ahead astrological report showing what the next 12 months will likely bring for you based upon the time when the sun reaches the exact degree of your natal chart sun. What does it cover? Well, it covers all 12 areas of life represented by all 12 houses. Yes, that's relationships, romance, it's career and money, it's family and healing. And what you'll know from this report is your main focus for the year ahead, where you're most and least supported in your efforts, where you're the most lucky, where you're the most challenged, right? Very important because some of you, you know, maybe you want to focus on your career, but actually the most support you're getting in the year ahead is with home and family. It's not that you can't be a success with that, but getting that information really helps to equip you with the challenges in the year ahead and take advantage of the good luck and fortune in the areas of life where you're getting it astrologically. Another thing that you'll know from this report is where the major changes are most likely to occur for you in the year ahead, where you can expect the unexpected, what is your blind spot, where are you most prone to deception and lack of clarity. This is very helpful so that if you're making very important decisions in life to make these major changes, you can kind of get a second set of lenses to say, you know, Probably in this area, I might not be seeing things exactly clearly or getting all the information. So I'm going to double check. I'm going to do my homework to really make for sure that I pivot optimally. Another thing that you can learn from this report is what are the main pain points in the year ahead that you're likely to occur because that's going to show where to focus your self-healing where to work on self-love, where you need to be gentle with yourself over the year ahead, very important for your spiritual growth. And also what's likely to make you angry over the next year, very important for doing damage control. You know, it comes up for all of us, but you know, when we are 
forewarned, we are forearmed. And I think all this information that you can get out of a solo report is going to really equip you to make the most of all the energies that are uniquely up ahead for you and you alone. So if you're interested in this 30 minute reading, I am offering it as a special for you know my happy birthday to you. It's 30 minutes for $50. And who might be interested in this? Well, if you're having a birthday right now, if you've got a birthday coming up or you just had one or you're in the middle of your birthday season, absolutely would be a good time to take advantage and get a snapshot of what's coming up for you in the next solar year. And if you want to take advantage of that offer, then make sure to reach out to me at crownedones.weebly.com. I will have the link in the description box and the comments down below. All right, welcome back. Thanks for watching the message and you know this video for you might be a little bit longer than the others because you know i'm getting more messages for you it seems that over the next year you've got a decision to make about the direction that you're going in in life and it has to do with matters of the heart it has to do with your ability to open up and receive but it looks like right now you're at an impasse you can go this way or you can go that way and this way appears to be about continuing on the same Right, you just keep going forward on the same direction that you've been in. Unfortunately, with this fogged in card here, I don't really know that there's going to be a lot of clarity in that path. And I do see with both of these cards that, um, yeah, you can get to the top of that mountain if that's what you set your mind to, but I don't think it's going to be an easy task. The alternative here is for you to really l take a spirit led, heart based direction with your life. And maybe even for some of you, take a time out and reflect on the past, do some healing of the past, which I know is not entirely an Aries thing. Like in my experience, Aries, um, because y'all are so good at starting things, <laughs> uh, y'all would rather start something new uh, than, than maybe uh, go back and fix something old. Okay. That's, that's just not, that's not sexy, right? Going to the past. Who cares about that? Right. This is Aries. Gonna start something new. <laughs> But um, but what I'm seeing here is that if you if you if you don't if you don't heed spirit and these are very look these are very angelic feminine energy type cards where spirit is whispering to you and trying to say hey let's do the work here um, but if you don't if you don't do it and you just keep plodding along that same path then things are going to move slowly in your life and I don't know if you're going to see real clearly um, your way out it's not that you can't overcome these obstacles which I'm seeing here and here with the mountains it's just that it's it's not going to be easy okay and i think spirit's trying to nudge you gently lovingly to work on this instead let's look at that impasse card a little bit more deeply this is about you reflecting and redirecting your energy let me put it up a little bit closer so you can see that card okay um some of you maybe you need to again you need to turn back and back is on healing this past stuff okay but that's not easy for you to do however it might be the wise thing for you to do it might be what spirit is leading you to do to turn back and look at where you're at a crossroads in your life and why maybe reflect on is there another way and then discern within yourself is it wise to back down to turn around to let something go this might be a time that, yes, you do need to break through some barriers. And the barriers are here with these mountains, okay? Whatever path you've been on that you are looking at some kind of blockage in your life, yes, maybe. Again, there's, there's a need for discernment here. Is this a mountain you need to climb? This is something, by the way, that I would normally say to Capricorn, but it's coming up for you. Um, you're looking at a mountain in your life. Is this a mountain you need to be climbing right now? That's, again, something unique. The answer will be unique to each person. And I'd say, you know, pray, meditate on it, be spirit-led on the decision that you make, because it's not a one-size-fits-all answer. But there is probably some area in your life regarding relationships, business, finances, health, something with your life path that needs to be reevaluated. And maybe it's just simply you got to find another route. Simply, you know, not necessarily that you need to not climb that mountain, but you need to find a different way about it, okay? Because something, something's got you stuck here. I'm seeing some stuckness here and here with both of these cards. So if you are, you know, at an impasse in your life, this card is really speaking to you. Um, you might be at a place where you have been kind of protesting uh, to God or spirit about something not being fair or that it's unwarranted, but really spirit's allowing it because spirit wants to get you to change your course. Whether you find another route or you decide, you know what, I'm going to go back. I'm going to get off of this and I'm just going to, I'm going to do a U-turn or I'm going to do a left or right, whatever, or I'm just going to keep going forward. Spirit wants you to really check in 
with where do you go from here? Why are you getting these blockages? And maybe instead of focusing on what's not working, instead you can focus on what can work and the steps that are needed to create a different outcome, to lift this fog, to get beyond that impasse. And if you can get to a place where you're viewing the obstacles as something that are, that's possible for you to overcome, then great. But if you come to the conclusion that this, this obstacle is impassable, then the wise thing, the sage thing to do is just to take some steps back and go a different way. Come at this from a different angle. And learn what you need to learn from this. Choose a different path. With the Voyage of the Heart card, this is about you knowing that you are love, that you're loved, that you're here to love. I'll put that up a little bit closer so you can see. That love is flowing through you. To you and through you is what I'm hearing. And so this is about trusting messages that are coming from your heart and following them, even if they're at odds with what your mind is telling you. This is really confirmation that you've got a lot of angelic support and guidance communicating with you, but you've got to listen. You've got to open yourself up to those intuitive nudges. I'm seeing the intuition here and over here. Even if you keep going down the same path, spirit is still with you, trying to get you through this fog, whatever that is. This is also you knowing within yourself that you deserve love and that there's nothing that you need to do to receive or be worthy of this. Okay, you already are. You just need to open yourself up to allowing that flow. But this also has to do with your capacity to, re to receive that flow and could also be a sign that some of you are stepping into a time of expanding your ability, your capacity to receive love in your life. But this has a lot to do with letting your heart lead the way forward in the path that you choose. And accepting that part of your purpose in this life is having the ability to impart and accept love and deepening that ability as well. With this Ascending Mountain card, I really am getting the vibe that this is about you doing what you've been doing, like just continuing to stay on that same path, okay? Um, but if you keep going the same way you've been going, I'm seeing, you know, more of these mountains, right? And it can be hard, all right? Uh, but some of you, it's maybe you've got some goals that are very important to you that you're trying to achieve. And you will likely achieve those things through hard work and diligence and not giving up even when it is hard. But sometimes when things are really, really hard, you might go three steps and then fall back to... Um, Yet, if you keep going, you're going to get closer to your goals, whatever those things are. Sometimes, um, you know, you might just decide to take smaller steps forward. And again, for some of you, this message might not necessarily be an either or, this or that. It might be a wane of, I don't put this down, but maybe I go at a slower pace. Maybe I go at this not as hardcore as before, but more in a spirit-led place while I do some healing work on the past. I do think that there's going to be some highs and lows with this, okay? Whatever your goals are that you've been working hard on over the last year, okay? The last birth year. Yes, there are going to be times when maybe you stumble or fall. But if you just keep going, even with even if it's baby steps, you're going to get to your goal. But I do think that there is some advice here about not allowing yourself to be limited by other people's beliefs or even your own self-limiting beliefs and fears. This is about getting beyond those boundaries of self-imposed barriers, living more passionately, courageously, fearlessly, speaking up for yourself, honoring your truth. This is about not being timid, not holding back, but being pretty diligent in the path that you take forward, even when things do not seem very clear, even when you're not really confident. So again, I'm seeing with both of these cards, if you keep on the same path that you're on, there's going to be, you know, slow progress. There will be progress. It will be slow. You will need to use your intuition. Um, at times, you're not going to see what's around the next corner. And as you move forward, things are going to slowly come into clarity. Some of you are going to have to resist being impulsive in your decisions. But instead, again, pull back, tune into your intuition and being guided by your intuition. Like I said, I'm seeing it here, here, and here. All this spiritual, intuitive energy, whether no matter what you choose, the overarching prevalent message here is you need to be spirit led in your decisions and in that you're going to have more power you're going to have more ability to relax into whatever is going on but there are going to probably be times like i said over here there's going to be highs and lows and over here there's going to be times when you're uncertain about things you might question what direction this is going in are you on the right path 
you don't know what's around the next corner. But in those times of unknowing, this is when you're going to get some profound divine downloads, if only you tune in. So I think the advice is that if you continue on this path, proceed with caution and really trust the guiding of spirit as you slowly move forward on that path. Now, with this other option over here, Mystic Healer, this is about inner and outer healing on all levels. And it's really showing, I'm hearing that for some of you, even if you choose not to go this route, I'm hearing that it's going to happen more in the undercurrent of your life, more in the subconscious. I don't know, there's something going on with y'all astrologically where, you know, like it or not, spirit's here doing some inner work in you, okay? Um, like, you can only fight this so much, and some of it is just, you know, inevitable, okay? Um, there might be a situation, a relationship, or a physical challenge that you have to resolve, that there's no way around. And this challenge is pushing you to figure out the source of it and to transform whatever is grieving you from within. And it's pushing you to take care of this now and no longer carry this inner grievance within you, but to also realize that you are a healing force for others, even if you're not aware of it. The advice here is really about stepping off the path, right? This is continuing on the path. This is stepping off the path and maybe searching for some healing in your life. This is like taking a time out to restore yourself. And remember that you do have a powerful ability within you to heal yourself and others. But really, you got to start with yourself first. And this might involve meditation, visualization about your future self, who you are, who you want to be, who you want to become. And for some of you, your past life issues might really play a key role in this healing. It's like something from the past is having to be released. But I'm seeing with both of these cards, you've got a lot of spiritual energy around you, pushing you, helping you, supporting you, and resolving emotional and physical challenges. But this is kind of a beneath-the-surface energy. Whether you choose the path or not, I'm seeing there's kind of a working-behind-the-scenes element going on here in the spirit realm. Now, at the foundation, we have choosing your path. All is possible. Okay, so you've got, you know, looks like some challenges ahead of you. I don't think you're any stranger to it, honestly. I think you know what it is. I think you've been on it. You've been looking at these mountains. You already know what I'm talking about. <laughs> if you don't, then this ain't your reading. <laughs> it is a general reading. We have to remind people every so often, right? But look, the good news is this is saying, hey, all is possible. And so there are new things ahead for you this year, but you have the power to choose. The, the power is in your hands this way or that way, you know? And not allowing restrictions and limitations placed on you, um, which I saw with those mountains again, and that impasse, not allowing these kind of blockages to deter you from your path or derail you from the healing that you need to do. This is about you casting aside those restrictions. Whether it means you got to do a U-turn or you got to go another direction, another route, this is about you throwing it off, okay? And getting beyond some predictable behavior and maybe saying yes to things that in the past you would have said no to. Maybe that's you. You saying no is that mountain you put in your, you know, or that blockage that you put on your path. But this is about getting beyond it and also supporting others by stepping into your own freedom. Because then you become like a, an example to them of how to move beyond situations that you've actually outgrown. And living life on your own terms. So some of you, I think, again, if this is... Um, not your own self-imposed restrictions. It might be other people. They have expectations upon you to live a particular type of life, an ordinary life or whatever. But you might be asked to do something out of the ordinary, okay? Or what these people might think is out of the ordinary or that, you know, is not something you should do. But there is a reminder here from the spirit realm that you're not here to meet the needs of and expectations of others. <laughs> That's not your sole purpose here. You're here to explore, expand, and step into your extraordinary self. You're not here to unconditionally accept the rules that you've placed on yourself or that others have placed on you. This is about you choosing a path to lead, that leads to greater freedom and happiness. So I hope that helped you. And uh, tell you what, you know, if you want more of a reading involving tarot, I'm going to have links down below. I got to remind you, I'm, I'm running a sale on a life mastery reading 50% off. And I don't know if you missed the message. I've been putting it out there, but it, uh, it ends at the end of March. 
and it's massive savings, 50% off. Actually, in April, the prices are going to go up $40 more. So if you want to get in on that, um, now's a good time to book a life mastery reading where we can talk about, we could do a healing reading and talk about all this healing stuff. If this is about your career, we could do a life purpose testing reading. If this is about your relationships, we could do an ideal life partner reading. But because it's going to be different things for different people. And some of you have all three of these dynamics going on. And usually I don't bring that up in these birthday readings, okay? Uh, because I'm already just, you know, for some of you, the solar report, 50 bucks is at your price point. But I'm bringing it up because for the month of March, this is a limited time opportunity. And I do see it's relevant here in the spread. So if you are interested in that reading, I will have the links pinned in the comments down below. I hope this has blessed y'all. Thanks for watching to the end. Till next time, y'all take care.